I don't think you guys understand that you're not ready for, to watch this video. Look, this is one of the craziest videos I've ever brought on the channel. And I would be lying to y'all if I said I didn't already see a part of this because this is how I found out. This wasn't sent to me like the usual content. This was on my feed. And uh, I had seen, I, I believe there's two parts. We're going to take a look at both. But this is one of those things where it was so unbelievable that this actually happened, man. Listen to this. Please listen to the description. This grown weirdo, right? A grown adult, bro, a grown ass man is on Roblox playing. Ro who plays Roblox, bro? What? I mean, I remember back in the day I used to play Phantom Forces, but that was when I was a kid. Why are you as a grown ass adult playing Roblox? Anyways, put that to the side. Look at this, bro. He's playing Roblox and he pulled up to this kid's home because the kid sent this grown ass man pictures of his mother and called his own mother, quote unquote, hot. What type of society do I live in, bro? The video, I have video press play on this and I'm already mad. Let's just go, man. Like, I wonder, bro. I wonder. Like, as a grown adult, as a grown ass man, we're 10 seconds into the video. How do you feel walking up, not walking up, driving up to somebody's home and asking their little ass kid outside, oh, are you, are you the person that's been messaging me on Roblox? Like, bro, do you not feel weird? <laughs> like, <laughs> self-awareness, hello? Does that not make you feel like a weirdo, bro? Obviously not, because we're dealing with something that's even more than a weirdo bro if y'all get what i'm trying to say because but what i'm saying like how do you just casually roll up on somebody's home and start talking to their little ass kid tell them yo are you the kid that was on roblox messaging me There is so many things to break down, but let me say this, right, before we continue, I don't condone any of this behavior on the uh, man's side, right? We are only taking a look at this for educational and awareness purposes because this is actual awareness that needs to be spread. If your kid is this gullible, if your kid is this naive and has such easy access to online games where he can, bro, this is why we're watching this video because I, anyways, what I'm even surprised by is what level of degeneracy did this society reach to the point where a kid feels comfortable calling his own mother hot, bro? What, what does, how do you even think like that? That is something that just, it's like one plus one, bro. It will always be two. There will never be a universe where one plus one equals three. I just don't understand what type of environment you got to be in or how you are raised for that to be an all right thing to even like think about, let alone to say to a stranger, bro. You know that I'm coming over to meet her? Can I tell her? You didn't tell her? No. Well, I don't know how she's going to react. Did you send her the pictures? No. Mom! There's this guy out here wondering if you can get his number. Or if yeah, he, I, he, he sent me pictures of him. Yeah, I sent you pictures of him to this guy and then I'll roll him off. How does that... The, I can't... I can't believe that this man really pulled up full confidence thinking that this is going to work. Please put yourself in the shoes of this mother, right? Her son that's playing outside in a trampoline, bro, just walked inside to tell her, hey, mom, there's a strange man outside that was messaging me on Roblox. I sent him pictures of you and he thinks that you're very, you know, how do you think she's going to react? <laughs> do you really think she's going to find that so attractive? And No, bro. No. You are literally the man in the white van offering candy to kids. Well, you are weird. How? Let, let's see how this plays out, because this is where I got to, by the way. No. Yeah, I sent pictures of him. Yeah, 
He sent me pictures of his That's address. That's weird. That's really weird. Isn't that like a kid's he gave game? Me all that address. Yeah, see? Get in this house. I'm sorry. This no. is not right. I can't believe you're not playing on Roblox for a while. Not for a while. Forever. You need to teach your kid a sense of responsibility, bro. These new age kids are not taught the basic instinct to exist and survive, bro. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe if we're just like, I told y'all, if to any of y'all that are my age, bro, you know, from like, 02 to i'd say 06 but now nah, 06 is pushing 06 yeah i guess bro we're like the last generation that grew up before phones man like i phones started out in middle school not elementary school and even in middle school it was like late middle school for me i say that and i mention that because if you had a good family meaning you had a mother and, and father present in your life bro you were taught to not talk to strangers to be careful when playing outside to not message random people that you know grown adults can do evil things to you you should you know always tell your these are like basic things and i guess nowadays what happens is you know both parents got to slave off in the system because you know everything is getting worse bro so both parents have to go to work and barely have time to raise their kids so they just throw them in a daycare or they just give them ipads and computers and what i'm saying is their kids aren't taught and aren't raised by them therefore they're not taught all these basic things we were taught bro because as the as the son in this situation why is your kid so unbothered by the fact that he just you know the, the str strange man is in front of your house because of him obviously the blame goes back on this weird ass freak bro the, the the this weird man that's pulling up but at the same time your child should feel a little bit like like a little bit of sense of like guilt uh oh shit i'm in trouble oh this is bad why why is there a strange why is your son so unbothered that means there's a failure in how you raised them i'm telling y'all bro a lot of these new age parents they don't give a shit about what their kid is exposed to bro and i'm slowly realizing and seeing just how bad of an effect it's really having on society and on the next generation because if you give your kids access to the internet and let them watch and play games and do a bunch of all day because you're busy hey just know what you're getting yourself into bro you're gonna have your son sending pictures of you to a strange grown adult on roblox i can't believe what i'm I'm watching man that's not okay you just it's come roll up in someone's house don't you ever send pictures of me to anybody yeah that's I'm weird mom. either way you know? yeah that's not okay get in the house come on i'm you sorry he wasted your time come on this is why i told you man it's not how kids are nice that's weird Wow. I just I just can't believe he thought it was gonna work, bro. I can't believe he really showed up to her home thinking that this was gonna work. Did he think that he could be like the cool stepfather? No, bro, you are weird, sir. You're a weirdo and that's pulling that's like putting it lightly, bro. That's putting it super mildly. I just how, how do you even feel comfortable in your own skin doing this, bro? Please let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. And please understand what we just watched. Like, I know you might be a little desensitized, especially if you watch me, bro, and if you're an OG. But we really got to put this into perspective. A grown man pulled up to this mother's home. How and why? Because her son was on Roblox. And he messaged her son and received pictures of what this son's mother looks like. And pulled up boldly no shame at all and no self-awareness really trying to act on it thinking that that wasn't weird thinking that that's such a like like a great way to introduce himself to her this is the weirdo award of the entire year bro i can't understand that these kinds of people exist now obviously nothing bad happened in this situation but you gotta understand bro we live amongst weirdos yeah we live amongst good people yeah we live amongst bad people yeah, but we also live amongst killers bro we live amongst evil so imagine if this you know your son that, that you really need to focus on raising more bro and that's putting it lightly imagine if your son was in contact with somebody that really wanted to harm you take your life god forbid all these things are a probability bro we don't live in a 
happy dandy shiny world with no evil we really have evil all around this is why it's highly important that you focus on raising your kids bro anyways let me know what y'all think about this bro i can't i really can't believe what we just watched it, this is one of those one of one situations it's pretty rare for us to have one of these because like i said if you've been with me for a while we've taken a look at the craziest of crazy i promise you so it's very rare for us to watch something for the first time because we've never seen anything like this and this is a one of one this is the first time we've seen some shit like this bro be careful out there y'all and let me know what y'all think about this i'm out